in today's look, I'm going to be doing this makeup right here. It's a fall makeup look that I am super obsessed with. And I actually used new products in this look, so I'm very excited for you guys to see how all these products worked on me today. Also, long time no scene, but I explained to you guys a little bit more on why I was gone for a while um, throughout the video. So yeah, if you guys want to learn how to recreate this look and want to know why I've been missing, then please continue watching. I haven't filmed in a minute it's been one month yeah i haven't filmed in a month there's no excuse but i really wanted to film a video for you guys today because i need to get back on it i need to get on track for you guys you know what i've seen that a lot of like lip oils are being super used now which is great because they are amazing um i heard that the artist couture lip oil is really amazing but i haven't tried it i love this one this one is from sigma beauty so i definitely recommend it it's the renew lip oil i'm gonna do my brows while i talk a little bit of what i've been doing and why i've been mia and why i've been like just not here you know but i just took some time off to be honest um i know it's like why are you taking time off like this is your job but I was just in this funk that YouTube is just not the same anymore, you know? So I was like, why should I even keep continuing doing like makeup tutorials and stuff? Why should I continue? That's what I would always like ask myself and it's not good because that's how I started, you know? Like even if I don't get a lot of views, even if I don't get like people like commenting on every video and get thousands of comments, thousands of likes, thousands of views. I'm still like gonna do it. I'm not gonna, I'm just done doing it for that. You know what I mean? It's just so dumb. Like I should do it because like I started YouTube because I loved it. You know, like I genuinely loved it. I was so into it. I would post a lot. I would literally like try so hard on my thumbnails try so hard on my cre like the creative part um, and i got so many views on one of my first videos to be honest and now i'm just like slacking off like what's wrong with me and i know i keep i complain and complain and like but like you guys will see that it's gonna change like i'm just gonna tell you right now like i said there's no excuses but i just really want to to tell you guys that because i'm not leaving youtube at all like i love creating content and i love doing youtube videos and makeup tutorials so they're so fun like especially when i'm just done with the look and like i see it on my viewfinder and how my makeup turns out like just i transform you know like i love love the process you know when that like tiktok the tiktok that, that says like well, I took some time off and, you know, it's gay time. It's just, yeah, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys. Enough of me just explaining myself because I know you guys are tired of hearing the same old story. But maybe I'll just do like a Q&A, like a get ready Q&A kind of thing. So you guys can ask me any questions that you guys are curious to know and stuff. So I will definitely do that on my next video for sure. Um, don't mind my brows they're super thick right now i need to get them done and they're just super like thick they've never been this thick before to be honest i'm actually surprised because i have really thin brows but thank god for the silk brow and the i mean the wax brow whatever you call it nowadays what do you call it a wax brow or a silk brow but look how good they look they look like really thick i never like i said i never had a thick brow like this so it's really new to me and I love it so you guys know that I love prepping my eyelids or before I do my eyeshadow and I like taking any concealer and just kind of outline my brow like that like that and you can actually like even prep your 
eyelids with this because that's what I do. I love it. I like doing that because it's like a thick consistency and it hides away. It hides like all my redness and my dark spots. And then I take any concealer and I just start to out like perfect the outline of my eye brow, like underneath my brow. And I know I don't have any like brow product on, but this really helps me. It's really the guide for when I do the feather light strokes. But you guys love when I um, post selfies and stuff on my Instagram stories. You guys always ask what I do to my brows. And honestly, it's so easy. Like I have a video on it. You should go watch it. I'll put it up here on stories. And now that my, my favorite season is here, I feel like I'm gonna just start posting more content, which is fall. I love the fall. I love all right, so now I'm going to start on my eyeshadow. And for today's eyeshadow palette, it's actually a new palette from Anastasia. Look how beautiful this palette is. It just launched, actually, and I feel like it's such a perfect fall palette, honestly. Like, look at this, these shades right here. This palette is called the Prim Rose Palette. So pretty, right? You have a blush here, and then you have another one. Another blush. I think so, yeah. I feel like that's, this is going to be a perfect blush shade for me because I'm a little darker. I think this will not like pop on my skin like it should. But you have a 10 eyeshadows right here. Perfect pan. They're like a great size. You know that this palette is just going to last you a really long time. I'm so excited. I haven't used Anastasia palettes in like ages. <laughs> So the first shade that I'm going to be taking is Mango, which is this shade right here. I'm going to be taking it with this Morphe Times Aerial brush that I'm pretty sure you guys know about because it's so bomb. Focus this on the crease. So now I'm going to go ahead and start to deepen up the crease a little bit more. Um, I love doing that because it just adds dimension. And for that, I'm going to be taking Rouge, which is this shade right here. Ooh, there's a lot of kickback. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. And so what I'm going to do is just take this like up here. See, it just makes a difference. Anyways, I am super excited to post more lifestyle content and you guys will, if you guys like follow me on Instagram, you guys can slowly see that I'm starting to do that. And now I'm going to be taking a little bit of Claret, which is this like purpley blue shade. And I'm just going to take this on the outer corner. Ooh, pretty. And so now I will be doing a shimmer. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to do fire opal which is this shade here it's like a copper gold shade and then i'll take a little bit of sparkling amber which is this shade here and i'm just gonna apply this in the center I don't know if I should do like a brown winged eyeliner or a 
I'm gonna do a brown liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna take the Tattoo Liner Waterproof Liquid Liner from Kat Von D. This is the Mad Max Brown, and I'm just gonna wing it out. Ooh, that was nice. That was a nice flick. All right, so that is it for this eye. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one off camera because it's gonna be a long, long video. You guys already know. I'm gonna do this eye off camera and then I'll be right back to finish the look. All right guys, so I finished with the eye look. I did do something, I added something actually. I added that uh, eyeshadow, what is it? It is Rose Water, which is right up here in the Primrose palette. Such a beautiful shade. And I actually wet this like really small detail brush um, as you guys can see it's really really small this is the dose of colors fine liner brush what I did is I wet the brush and then I added the eyeshadow on it and then I just flickered it if that even makes sense but that added such a great touch to the eye look so I'm very happy on how it turned out so now let's move on to the face I'm gonna be applying this new product I believe this is from LYS think bright glow hydrate serum which is this here and this has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid so it's really going to just give you that glow that you want so all I'm gonna do is just shake it up I'm just gonna add one drop one little tiny drop to my face. We'll see how this applies. Oh wow, that smells really good. It smells like roses. Oh my god, that added a really like nice layer to my skin. Wow. Especially now that the weather is changing. It's getting a little dry now because winter is right around the corner and so what I'm gonna do now is add the um, sensual skin primer from Kevin O'Quan I'm gonna add this on my t-zone area oh it's a hydrating primer oh I love hydrating primers it doesn't really have that kind of like strong scent but a lot of primers do did you guys see that it really just Burned out like my pores. I like that. Um, so now I haven't really applied foundation just because I love using my Too Faced concealer for everything. The multi sculpting concealer from Too Faced is literally the best. Today I'm gonna add a little bit of foundation. So for actually today's foundation is actually also from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way um, Matte 24 Hour Foundation. And I'm just gonna add one pump. Oh my god, I am like listening to the new song. Actually, I think it was released today. Um, Bad Bunny um, and Julieta Venegas. Wow, that song. It's so good. Her voice, I love her voice. I, I grew up listening to Julieta Venegas. My aunt used to play it all the time when I went to Mexico for like six months when I was little. And it's just like something that I can't ever forget. It's just something, something so vivid in my thought, in my uh, memory. So I love, love listening to Julieta Venega and especially in that song, Lo Siento Bebe. So um, I'm gonna blend my foundation out with the Hourglass Kabuki brush. I forgot how much I love this brush. It really just blends so quickly, so easy, so easily, so flawlessly. So I'm going to take the new Kevin Aquan, the Essential Skin Enhancer. This is actually in a new packaging, and I'm pretty sure it's like a new formula. I'm going to take the shade SX11, and I'm just going to apply this underneath 
my eye. I'm gonna really pack this on. This is one of the best concealers ever. It really just covers all of your imperfections from under eyes. is wow like really close to my skin tone so now I'm just going to blend it out and put this concealer on it so now to highlight I'm going to be using SX10 I'm actually going to use SX08 I think it's going to be a little yeah it's lighter I'm gonna use this one. Why don't we, you just see the shade, Sarah? Yeah, it looks like a little darker on the on the pan, and it just looks much lighter on the skin, which is weird. It's always kind of like the opposite. I'm just gonna blend it out. Alright, so now I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Cream Bronzer in the shade Hazelnut. I've been loving this to cream contour. And you guys know I just love cream contouring. I will never stop cream contouring. Even if I'm wearing like a light, like beat. So now I'm going to apply my cream blush. I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Cheek Out in the shade Rose Latte. It's kind of like a more, yeah, like, like a rose latte shade. Literally, it's like rosy, but it still gives you like that kind of um, brown undertone. I add some first, like add it on my cheek, and then I blend it out with my sponge so it doesn't look super harsh. Um, and I also got these new powders from Makeup Forever. They are the Ultra HD setting powders. I got the shade uh, 301 Beige Dore, and then the other one is the 2.0 Banana. So, I think I'm going to use Banana because it's more like a highlight kind of shade. So, oh, it comes in this packaging right here. You open this. Oh, wow. I came with a sponge, so I'm going to try it with the sponge. Wow. That blurred out everything. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for this look. I think my camera turned off exactly when I was applying my eyelashes. So for today's eyelashes, they're actually new from Lily Lashes. These are the So Devilish Mink Lashes. So bomb. Look, look how pretty these look. They like flare out at the end, which go really great with the look because of how like it just lifts your eye. And then for lips, I use the new lipsticks from Makeup by Mario. I used a little bit of Graph. I applied it first all over my lips and then I used Sierra uh, in the center. As you guys can see, it does look kind of like a pinky color. But yeah, you guys, I used the Juvia's Place Luxe Liner in the shade So Rare. These are actually called the um, Ultra Suede Lipsticks. And they are amazing. They're super buttery on the lips and they glide on super smoothly. It's so easy to reapply and, you know, it just doesn't get like, you know, like dry and stuff. I will have every link down below for you guys so you guys can see what products I used down on the description box. But yeah, you guys, this is it. This is it for my fall look. I 
really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and do not forget to press the notification bell button so you guys can get notified every time i upload new videos and new content for y'all i don't think i have anything else to say except thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys on my next video bye